Hey guys, if you know this is uh, what I got in Missing and also the clothes. This is from Missing and Nelson's farm. I think it then thingy. Uh, it wasn't that much there, but uh, yeah. Uh, I'm just wearing these because it's 9:50, and if you can believe that it's not nighttime outside. Here we go. Here. Look, I uh, gotta move some stuff. It's not that night time this yet. And so whenever mm, when it gets super dark like night time dark uh in the summer it gets to around that when it happens only around three years. Three or two. The reason why I know is because I like to stay up in the summer a lot of times. And so Alaska in the summer it stays up to three like it gets super dark at like two fifty and then at three three forty it gets lighter and then it just stays up and the sun just stays up. Sometimes it doesn't do that, it just stays sunny, like min like almost when the when the sun is like halfway in the middle, like in the sun right here, and then it's like right here in the middle where it goes this way and stuff like that. But it doesn't do that. Kinda, it doesn't do that, but then it doesn't. And so, yeah. Uh, and then the winters, we only have like. In early winters we have like four hours then three and so all only a, a certain pack time that happens here in last year rain up in the North Pole area bare Alaska or uh don't know how to say it, but the places change the name a lot but it used to be Barrow, Alaska. You can hear up when it gets in the darkness. But up there, it gets to, I think, 62, 40 days. Or like, wait, no. 40 or 70 days we have a sun. And I'm pretty on people who live up north and since there's a lot of people who drink in Alaska, uh, Russian and Swiss and German, uh, a lot of murders happen up north too because it's super dark, no sun, depressing and some people want to have some fun, some people just, just want to do it for just whatever. I don't know why they do that, you know, they do it for nothing, but basically Alaska is, uh, is like nice for four months for the summers, early summer is like spring, like one month of spring, then summer, 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 fall, summer, summer, fall, fall, then like spring, Fall, spring, summer, 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 fall, then winter, fall, then like fall, then winter, fall, and then winter, and then 
Basically, four months of summer and only like three months of winter. But the thing is, these four summer months is basically spring, s spring, summer, and then fall, and then winter all after that. And winter is not the nicest up here because, uh, if you get stuck in uh, winter, you ain't gonna make it. And so, yeah. Uh, a couple of times when we were camping, not really camping, but up my grandpa's cabin. Not me, really my grandpa anymore. Owns it. My brother bought it from him. So he owns it. So basically, grandpa's last brother. My oldest brother, to Kyle, uh, he owes it. Uh, we've been there, and you know why I get stuck up there when you go up there? Because if you knew, there's no one for like two or three miles. For, no, no, not two or three. More like, like, main, like, kind of where, so, Wasilla. Acorns, Palmer, Wasilla and, Wasilla and Palmer right here, Acorns on the bottom, and the Homer, and then if you go up, like, somewhere around May North, it was like, me and the Alaska or something like that, I don't know where it is, it's that, but it's way up north, I think, and there's no persons or people for... I don't know how far, but before I said two or three miles, I think it's like four or nine miles, and that's a pretty long walk, and there's nothing but trees and hills, like, and then in winter, it's more dangerous, because when there's hills, there's snow on them. And sometimes it's hard snow or soft snow, so you just get on it. Like, you just get on it. That soft snow, but then on hard snow, you just get on it. A mix of both. But then on super hard snow, ice, you just get on it. And then boom, and then uh, you just keep doing that, and then you just die for no reason. Uh, there's a movie on Netflix who there's a guy from I don't know where he's from, but there's this Netflix original thing who a guy actually died in Alaska. You might have heard it or may not heard it. It's called Into the Wilds. It's a great film. Uh, it was made in the nineties, or like he, from, he's from like somewhere in the New England area. He traveled throughout all the U.S. states, just trying to look for the answer of this money, all the cool answers. He learned a lot of stuff, but then at the end of his life, was so pretty because he came up to the last year. And he went to a thing, he crossed a lake, like he made a thing for the lake to cross through it. But if you do that, you gotta have more than just one thing, because it might break. 
and what happened in doing that, he made one thing, walking past, came through, walking past, and then the last time he came past and stayed, uh, there was no more brains anymore because the flu, the flu, there was like a lot of rain and stuff, it crashed, like the pieces just and so he was stuck and it was a winter and he couldn't survive without meat. You can, you can't survive water for more than like a week or two. Depending, it's depending if you have a fat body or a skinny body, skinny person probably a week or two, fat person probably a two to four weeks or more, depending, depending the like shape of you and how much you eat and stuff, you probably feel worse because that happens. But basically what happened was, he got stuck, he didn't have any food when he was on there, he couldn't find food for a long time, and so, summer came, he got so hungry that he killed a moose, and he went over there and cut it, and he did all those things, and then the moose got infected with mm, maggots and stuff like that, and so he got... He didn't die from those. He died from not the wolves that ate the thing, but the thing that killed him was poison berries. And the poison berries he ate was uh, the berries that make him uh, mm, the ones that could paralyze or kill you or make you not eat normal and so he died from those but if you've seen the movie it's not that nice ending because he's just there and in the movie it has a notebook he has a notebook in real life he did have a notebook in real life and then the, uh, the movie just tells you that in, it's called Into the Wilds and stuff. That and stuff. But Into the Wilds, great movie. Uh, the dude who was at the in the movie in real life, I mean, uh, died from poison berries, and he just died from starvation because the poison berries. Uh, if you have any poison berries without doing treatment you just die and yeah he died and then when he died people found him his body and his supplies and book and books that he ran inside the thing and it was sad and the people who found him bury him there, I think, or just left him in there. But then after that happened, I think the thing takes place in the 90s, but then the movie was in the 2000s or something like that. So it wasn't that far off from a long time. And so the dude died, people came had parties and drank there and then stuff happened and then COVID CV-19 happened and then they moved the whole bus with his food with his stuff all inside and then move it to a trash plate a dump and then cross it all to there destroying his legacy basically and so no more of his famous place because they move it to a dope and just trash it and crush it basically and so sad for him and his wife his not his wife but uh sad for him 
his his mom and dad and his sister because in the movie it's just him traveling from Eng New England era, so around the this part of the US all around and then somehow in the up to the last and then dies. And so yeah. Nope. <sighs> so yeah. But the thing is I'm going to Minnesota mm, on Wednesday. Wednesday, from around Wednesday, about 9 10 that morning, Wednesday, in the middle of the day. So from 12 to all the way, like, we're going to the airport, it leaves at like 1, so we leave at 12, you know, to the airport, we come there, and we travel from here to Minnesota, stay there for like 4 days or some, like a week basically, and then, after that, and then we go to South Dakota for like one day or two, and then, uh, we, me and my brother are going home, and my mom and dad are going to, go to Florida, I think we're not, may, maybe, or not, are going to Florida, but that will be only just one whole day, or just a couple of hours and then going back home which I do not want to do that because then I have to go from here right, right here to all the way here to Minnesota all the way down here and then all the way back here and then here and then here so I don't really want to fly down there so yeah you can get my point in view. I thought I heard something. No, I'm not hearing something. That's just probably someone in my family outside doing something. But, uh, yeah, make sure to like, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Bye bye.